Hello, this is Nancy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some snowman covers for these Dum Dum Pops. You're going to need some white yarn, some color of your choosing for the scarf. Uh, I'm using a 4mm hook, which is um, a G hook. This is a Susan Bates. And you're going to be needing some 3D paint in black and some 3D paint in orange. Okay, now we're going to do a two chain two, and then we're going to do six single crochet into the second chain from the hook, and then we're going to do that all the way around until you get to six. And most of this video is going to be um, um, real time, so if you need to speed it up, um, feel free to do that. Once you get all the six stitches done, you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch of that row and then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around so you end up with 12 stitches. Again, slip stitch into that first stitch from the second row. I give it a little tug there to tighten the, the center. And then we're going to chain one. And the second. Okay. Chain one. And we're going to do single crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to do two single crochet into the next, second stitch. And you do that all the way around and you'll end up with 18 stitches in this row. I'll have the pattern um, in a blog post linked down below. Again, slip stitch and chain one and then on rows four and five you're going to single crochet all the way around and I'll come back with you when that row is done Okay, we're here at the end of round five. I 
and I'm just cutting the, the center there to get it out of the way. So on round six, we're going to single crochet one, and then we're going to decrease, which means you, you take two of the single crochet from the previous row and make it into one stitch. So you do that around, and you're going to end up with 12 stitches. So single crochet and then single crochet decrease. slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one for the next round we're going to be doing front loop only single crochet and we're going to do two single crochet in each front loop so you only take the front loop this this will make the the I guess the collar of the snowman flare out so you do that all the way around so you end up with 24 stitches here so two single crochet and each one front loop. If you're liking this content, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. You never know what's going to come up next. Once again we slip stitch into the first stitch you see how it's already um, like flaring out and then we chain one and in this last row we're gonna sing cro single crochet all the way around so you end up with 24 as well on this one and then you fasten off at the end <music> Here we slip stitch and we fasten off and leave a, a tail long, long enough to so you can sew in the, the tail into the snowman and just pull it through and grab a darning needle and um, like I said um, so weave in the ends or oh, end because there's only one end <laughs> placing the dum dum inside to make sure that it fits and these um if you want to make them for a blow pop you need to um, do another row of increase because the blow pop is bigger so um take that into mind and um this one here is a little ghost that on my members um live um tank from i love to crochet suggested to, to make it into a ghost now we're going to chain 30 to make a scarf i'm using red you can use any color you want you could you know, have this um, displayed on, on a little um, styrofoam at a craft show or, or a party or something with different color scarves, and, it, and they look pretty cute. So um, I'll get back with you on that. we 
we finished with the scarf, we're gonna just wrap it around the neck of the snowman. And that keeps the dum dum um, from falling out. And I don't do a, a knot, I just tighten it and, it's, and it stays put. And then we cut the, the, the excess um, thread off the edge. What other characters do you um, see um, doing for these dum dum pops? I have some people saying some top hats, like a pilgrim hat, um, some turkeys, it's a whole bunch of different things. So, but I, the way I'm thinking about this is these are for kids, and they're they're just gonna, you know, grab the little snowman and toss them. So you don't want to put too much t um, effort into them. But it's still, it's nice to ha have just a a cute little um, cover instead of just handing them some pop um, lollipops. And now here with my 3D paint, I'm gonna just start painting the eyes. And I, I, I do a test um, squeeze first because you don't want a, the, the, a burp to come out on, on your um, snowman itself. So just slowly, because this is real time here. I'm not speeding anything up or slowing anything down. And then I do five dots for the, the mouth. And I shouldn't have done what I just did there, lay him down, because he could have kept on rolling. <laughs> and, and since that paint's still wet, it would have gotten messed up, but he stayed okay. Now we're going to get the orange, and we're going to do like a little triangle. You know, start um, with the large part of the triangle and just go to a point. little snowman and then in real time it took me about 15 minutes to make from start to finish even with the the painting so until next time be brave be strong and create little snowmen or ghosties <laughs> <laughs>